guys so i think i slept pretty well so i'm quite energized and in the mornings i usually try to get a balance of some creative work and maybe some reading so i'm gonna do that let's go if this is love i think one of the reasons i like getting some creative work done either be like editing or just i don't know designing something in the morning because my mind is quite clear so i can get like different ideas maybe they're accumulating from yesterday and from the days before so i can just put it in a clear way oh i know when we meet i'm reading the book called born in crime and it's Trevor's noah autobiography some memoir the book is really engaging it's written in a simple manner so everything is understandable and just the way he writes so like the same time informational and funny and everything i, I really love the book and it just tells uh, more about the life in uh, south africa actually was so it's pretty educating totally recommend the book damn my judo got cancelled it's pretty sad, I really want to go to the judo practice, I was excited, but I guess not. Okay, I might do something else. Okay, another thing I love doing in the mornings is listening to something positive. Just helps me to get into the positive mood for the day and therefore it helps me to be productive, I think, honestly. Sometimes with all this media that we have, there is too much negativity. Oh, I think it's quite important to surround yourself with some good thoughts in the beginning of the day. Hey, put a finger in the sky if you want it. Hey, put two fingers in the sky if you want it. Hey, put a finger in the sky if you want it. Hey, put two fingers in the sky if you want it. Hey, put a finger in the sky if you want it. Hey, put two fingers in the sky. Morning basketball toy. Hey, put a finger in the sky if you want it. And hey, put your fingers in the sky if you want Sometimes you worry about the things he can provide for you Whenever you around I seem to come alive for you I finally recognize the feelings that's inside for you Although I know your man and trust me he would die for you He's quiet though so you've been going on for years now I saw you in the party soft lips soft spoken I came to talk to you my whole time Okay I think I finished the morning basketball time so now let's go eat I'm hungry now. He introduced you as his girl and I was heartbroken Some people talk about their love at first sight To keep it real I don't know whether I, I believe gotta be the truth. groceries But if it they is tell me if I'm wrong or right yeah. I fell in love with you before I ever even knew I catch your eye and look away as if it never happened At times I feel as though I'm caught up in a strange dream If I could talk to my eyes would tell you then I'm feeling you Sometimes I swear your eyes be telling me the same thing Cheap with small towns like I got big dreams Okay, let's design while we have our creative juices flowing. <laughs> Vitamins time. Yeah, I need to get going to my class. And before the class, I want to get to the cafeteria while it's still open to grab something to eat. <laughs> I take this funicular like every day, but... Every time I enjoy it so much. Just the finicular wipes. Bruh. Let's go. Bitches tell them hoes I yo. Say you can drop your panties, leave them shits at the door. Deal falls on the floor. I swear we've been here before. I'm trying to see you from my house. This is my friend from Judah. Sarigo. <laughs> can you say salam bratka? Salam like, bratka. Nice. <laughs> and what's, what's the language? The language? Um, I came from Texas, and now that we texting, you can fly away now. Now you want dressing, pennies on the dress, and your head getting messed up. The feeling we catching, my love is a blessing, make love in the Lexus, make love in the Lexus. I have like five minutes before the gods to enjoy my meal. I finished. <laughs> We just played some football with the boys. I almost took my own life, who could tell me shit? I got some tuna for the dinner. I need like 12 kids, cheap about a dozen toss. Dinner though, and finally, I'm so hungry. Now 
it's 11.30, little update here and basically all these hours I've been editing and I just want to grind out the video from Barcelona couple next hours I'm gonna spend editing Okay, I'm almost done with the video and the thing I like to do is to make a little checklist for each video. I think it helps to just write down the steps. So basically in the beginning, the cut and the just sound and add some music. I'm gonna uh, add some effects, transitions, titles and so on. I think it really helps so you can uh, structure your work and it makes the process like way faster. <laughs> So a little update, it's 2am and I think I can actually make it through today and like almost finish like almost everything and upload tomorrow morning. I mean, I know it's not the best regime, like you know, to work through the nights and don't sleep at night, but I think if I feel like doing some stuff, I should as well do, so why not? Why should I limit when I want to work? I should work. If I want to rest and when I need time to rest, I, I need to relax. Uh, we are gonna use some little kit cut for the energy. Maybe it will help. I don't know. Now it's 8.30 in the morning. I think I fell asleep while editing with the lights on and everything just on my bed at like 3.30. So yeah, but I almost finished the video, so it was nice. It turned out to be pretty good. I tried some new techniques and it was quite a lot of fun. But I want to think about what productive actually means, you know? We watch so, so much content about being productive. We have so many books and everything. I, I think it's so subjective for every person what productive is. Like this 24 hours, I've, I felt they were pretty productive, but in its own way, you know? I haven't done anything like crazy, but at the same time, I, I've done quite a lot of things. I've done quite a lot of things that I enjoy I think I worked on different spheres of my life to improve them a bit each day. I think I just wanted to ask you guys what productive actually means to you. What, what are some criteria that you have when you go back to your bed and you f you're falling asleep and you can say like this day was productive. Okay, we have this really cool place near our residence and I came here just to read a bit and maybe take a thumbnail for this video because it's always important to take a good thumbnail otherwise if you don't do it in advance then it can be a bit of pain in the ass but overall yeah got a bit better